All right, cool. Uh, let's see here. All right. What's going on? Um, we just doing a live test stream tonight um, on Instagram from our streaming software and everything like that. Um, somehow they enable the ability to live stream on Instagram. So we're just doing a test run tonight uh, just to see how it's working and everything like that. Um, if you're on Instagram, I can't really monitor in both spots uh, because it's, it's kind of like an in beta mode type of situation. Um, but yeah, what's going on Instagram um, and stuff like that. Um, I normally stream on YouTube a lot, a lot. <laughs> so um, it's pretty cool. I can actually do what I do on YouTube and incorporate it on Instagram. That's why I kind of been kind of missing on Instagram and everything like that because kind of switched over to the YouTube community um, and stuff like that. Been doing a lot of things over there. So um, yeah, well, we're just kind of playing around tonight. And I'm just really kind of like running a test stream. I've been doing a lot of test streams. Uh, I know TikTok has kind of opened up some things with other third party um, um, streaming uh, platforms and everything like that. And uh, just kind of testing everything out and uh, just making sure everything is good. Um, really need to double check my music, make sure everything goes. Yeah, we straight. All right. So um, I'm just going to kind of like play around tonight. Um, just. I'm um, just really kind of like mixing uh, a beat here um, and everything like that. So um, I'm just going to try to check things here and there and there and here. So if I'm all over the place, I apologize. But like I have it titled in the in the in the title. This is a Instagram test stream just to see how everything goes and what happens on the back end. Checking connections, checking audio quality and stuff like that. So don't mind me. I'm just doing me. Now, if I do talk, I talk, and I do talk, so I will talk. <laughs> so, all right, bet man. Um, yeah, man. Um, shout out to Los, um, mixing his beat for him and everything like that. And first thing I want to do is just kind of like make sure that all the sounds are in here. Um, you know sometimes he'll send me some stuff, and um, we have different VSTs, so I just want to make sure that everything is in here. So that one is Gucci. Um, and while I'm just talking and y'all don't even see what the hell is going on, let's go ahead and add that into the mix right here. All right, bet. All right, cool. We got a split screen. There we go. All right, so um, we checked the piano there. Um, got like a acoustic guitar. That's the audio there, and got like a wall situation here. Got a bass. I think this is the instrument right here. Yeah, yeah, this is the instrument. So basically, he uh, kind of flattened that for me, and we got a bell. Looked like that bell was used with an instrument. So, yeah, we made sure that everything was in on the go. We got a lead hook here or a lead sound. And we have a nylon. Like we have an instrument here and that's in audio as well. Got an art pad, and that used to be an instrument as well. All righty. All right, got that cord right there. And last thing is this plug. All right, cool. Yeah, so he just went and um, basically made those instruments uh, audio. So this should be the full beat. Cool, cool, cool. And we have the drums here. And we have, looks like we have 
we don't have a uh, drum rack. We have individual drum sounds, and that's cool. But, all right. Um, bonjour. Got somebody from France checking it out. Whatever that means. Bonjour. <laughs> Como se va? <laughs> All right. Um, let's go, go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get these drums uh, up to par. Uh, let's see on this mixture. Definitely need to add some volume to that. So let's go ahead and do that. Have so many choices to choose from. Keep it super simple. It's gonna really use the utility plugin in Ableton Live here. Cool. So that kick right there, we're gonna go ahead and uh enhance that kick just a tad bit, just a tidget, not too much. Definitely add some weight to it though, for sure. But show. Definitely got a resonant frequency right there. Uh -huh. And uh, let's do one more thing here. Oh, hell. I'm using the wrong goddamn uh, <clears throat> chose the wrong thing. I didn't want to use this, but yeah, I use something different here. Let's see here. Uh, I'm looking for this uh plugin called Infinity Base that should um. 
that should bring uh bring some weight definition to the uh, to the kick there. Let's see. Give me a little analyzer to here. Put that on the master track. So definitely we are hitting at about 85 hertz. Don't make some sense of that. And let's play that in the mix. Good with your case on Israel. Appreciate you for tuning in, man. Uh, give you appreciate you, man. Appreciate the sub. Um, I'm not really making a beat tonight. Um, I do have to add an instrument in here, but um, a couple of instruments in here, but I'm mostly just doing uh, mixing, and I'm just really kind of testing audio for um. Uh, IG stream that I'm doing simultaneously um, on the stream right now, man. But uh, not tonight, man. I ain't really doing the full production. Not tonight. Um, just kind of just mixing. Um, if you want to hang around, you definitely can. Uh, it's, it's, I'm probably going to be another 30, 45 minutes out before I actually start adding instruments in here. Just kind of want to uh, mix down these drums and get them sounding solid before. But appreciate you for subbing, man, for sure. Oh, man, shoot. Hey, man. Uh, I didn't do the beat, man. You got to shout out my boy Los the King, man. He uh he did that track right there, man. Um, out of Memphis, so yeah, man. All uh, kudos and praises go to him, man, for sure. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make it sound good. <laughs> nah, it's straight though, bro. If you don't mind me asking, man, uh, you 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 make beats there, uh. 
Kajan. Oh, I'm sorry. Kason. Kason Israel. I hope I'm not messing up your name, man. Cool. That's uh, it's kind of like a rim shot there, hard to hear. Yeah, let me just go ahead and do that one right there. And I'm don't I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. All right. Don't want to increase that gain too much on that. Cool. I think we have went through all those uh, drum sounds. Uh, about the best as we are going to do there. All right, and what we're going to do is pretty much try to get the sound decent, decent. That's a that's a that's a that's a snap right there, boy. <laughs> that's a snap right there. There we go. I had to turn it down a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna use this um this particular these particular effects right here from safari pedals let me kind of playing around with these uh the situations right here they uh they're pretty goddamn good man I ain't gonna lie to you um uh, really um this this is a good topic question i can stop right here do you got it sounding clean so how do we really mix and master a track um that's a very debatable topic man um a person like myself um i'll say you mix and master your track um i'm not gonna say i'm old school but i've been i've been doing this for a minute man and i just come from an era where you know saying a lot of stuff that we created was not so good quality um we're talking about like you know making your beats on keyboard workstations and uh and drum machines and so you had to kind of like put some type of mix on it. These days, you necessarily don't have to, but you do have to. Um, but it's the end result that would matter. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're if you're making a beat and your intentions is to um, get it out there to the masses, uh, build your clientele, work with an artist um, and represent that artist in a certain manner, then you might want to mix and master your beats um or whatnot um uh, whether it's yourself or 
someone else that's doing it. Um, it's your product. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like crack on the street. You know what I'm saying? You want that good shit that everybody's going to come to you for or you want that boo-boo shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody ain't going to fuck with that because that other producer has some really good crack over there. I'm, I'm going to fuck with that. I'm going to put that in my motherfucking... <laughs> I'm going to put that in my body. You feel me? Nah, but um, that's just an analogy, bro. Uh, nah, don't take it the wrong way. But, <laughs> but nah, um, you necessarily don't have to uh, mix and master your beats. I know, I know individuals that don't mix and master their beat. They just make the beat. They'll mix. They'll they'll put a mix and master on, a quick mix and master on the drums, and that's it. Everything else, as far as the instruments, um, you know, what I'm saying they don't even touch. Um, the disadvantages with mixing and mastering, though, as far as your basic EQ and the dynamics and stuff like that, some of the sounds just don't cut through. They they just simply don't cut through your consumer speakers. Um, I know that for firsthand, you know what I'm saying? And I can attest that it's a different sound in, uh, instrument, instrumental um, when it's mixed and mastered versus just making it straight off the VST. Number one, digital sound is just really not going to give you the oomph and the definition and the clarity than you would with something that's got a little bit of extra processing on that sound if that makes any sense so you know saying to answer your question um how do you really mix and master that man i i'm, I'm gonna tell you like this um it's lessons learned uh because what i'm doing right here man i I ain't had no other choice but to learn it. Um, if you want to make yourself better um, in doing it, um, learn from a trusted individual, um, someone that you think, you know, saying that gives a good advice, you know, saying learn from that person. Um, if you want to go the extra step and get a mentor, cool, not a problem. You know, saying you want to go that extra, extra step and get into education and get a, you know, saying get get some paper behind that. Definitely go that route. Uh, I'm not going to get an attention on going down the education route. Is it needed? No. But will it set you up for the future? Yes. I'm I'm a living proof of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, audio degree is not something that you need, but you know what I'm saying? It does, it does set you up to be um, gainfully employed in other areas besides audio production or music production and stuff like that. Um, there's other jobs that are simply looking for someone that has some type of general uh, knowledge that's accredited or certified and you can come in and learn the other job skill that's needed vice versa audio visual career field um and that industry or whatnot or some type of media services uh industry or even the broadcast industry and stuff like that so um mixing and mastering all of that stuff still plays a part of the audio visual media services or whatnot because at the end of the day there's some type of eqing that espn the live truck does so when you watch the final four, there's some type of EQing and compression going on, some type of mixing going on. When you watch the Super Bowl halftime show, there's somebody operating the board to make that sound sound good. So um, is it is it recommended? Yes. Is it needed? Nah, but that's your end result at the end of the day. So I know that was a long winded question, but that's a really important question that someone may want to hear on the when they run this playback, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and someone's kind of like trying to, get the same answer and that's a very good question man i commend you on that question man um it's not recommended but i definitely advise getting your stuff mixed and mastered it's it's definitely a difference especially when you get someone that actually knows just a little bit of what to do it's a it's definitely a difference man for sure oh man shit ain't ain't nothing bro yeah 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 uh i got one um i got one um and stuff like that uh do i use it and does it help yes it really does help um it actually got me a really good job i ain't gonna lie to you um just off the degree alone um and the things that you learn in a accredited um degree program as far as audio production is concerned um you just don't learn how to make beats and mix and master that's that's not what that's not how those programs were set up you learn music business. You learn, I'm quite sure right now, social media type stuff. Um, because when I was in it, social media really wasn't, it wasn't something that you needed to know and it needed to be used at that time. I'm, we're talking about like the early 2000s and stuff like that. So um, you learn music business. Um, I was forced to take photography classes. I was forced to take 
uh, film classes. So I and I was forced to take live sound, and I was forced to take uh, learn a little bit about acoustics, as far as you know, saying how you uh, understand putting up acoustics in different environments and stuff like that. So um, the school that I went to, man, was just awesome. You know, saying they made sure that we got everything we needed to learn in different type of career fields that you could possibly go into. And if that particular program is not, if it's just one or two dimensional stay away from it because it's just a money grab if they're teaching you pretty much everything around media that's a really good program that's just my two cents on it and i hope that goes far for anyone that's watching this on the playback man um because you got to think about it like this we live in a media driven world now uh everything around you is media driven down to you know we don't even have cable no more so everything is kind of driven from a streaming service and with that streaming service, you have ads. Those ads got to be created. There has to be the audio associated with video. You can't have video and not have audio and vice versa. So if you are a two-way learner and you are a two-way person that can actually put those things together and edit it or create it or market it or understand it, you you have a solid career, man, like for real. Um, so... Uh, I see a lot of people just trying to get in the music industry. Um, and I've been chasing this dream for a minute. And I'm be honest with you, I'm kind of like damn near at the end of the road because I'm getting older. <laughs> so like that. But, um, you know, saying I know the ups and downs of it. And I've been around. Um, but like I said, you know, it's more than just making beats. It's more than just recording. It's more than just mixing. You know what I'm saying? It's more than that. And I had to learn it the hard way. And once I learned it and I experienced it, went through the went through the shit with it, you understand that it can really put you in a nice position. And I'm fortunate enough to be a test of that, you know what I'm saying? So um it, it's cool to do the music shit. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Shit, I'm doing music shit right now. You know what I'm saying? I got songs. I'm helping other people create their songs and stuff like that. That's gonna you could do that to the day you die far as a producer. Can't really speak on the artistry side, but as a producer or engineer, you can do that to the day you die, man. Um, but it can also put you indoors where you think you wouldn't go if you just take it seriously for us, the knowledge of it or whatnot. So, um, yeah, man, that, that man, your shit, man. I, I wasn't expecting to, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to talk on that subject, but you asked a really good question, man. I feel like it needed a really good answer to it. Um, let's see here what you got, man. Let's see. Have I ever considered mentoring? Yes. I actually um, almost had a associate professor job at Houston Community College teaching audio production. Uh, I was beat out by a more experienced person um, that was working in the industry and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I mentor people all the time. Um, that's the whole purpose of me, you know, saying being more involved on the YouTube community. Uh, just really trying to help people. Um, I'm almost to a point where this channel is monetized on YouTube. So once that becomes monetized and stuff like that, I have some really big plans um, just to go beyond mentoring um, and stuff like that. It's all God's time, man. Um, I was at a point where it's like I wanted to mentor, but, you know, sometimes people don't open doors for you. And sometimes you're just going to be sitting there at the door waiting, just like a dog will wait on their owner until they get back. That's basically kind of like, that's basically how it is, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I always consider mentoring people. I, and to be honest with you, uh, I keep my lines of communication open on social media just in case, you know, someone like yourself has a question. I answer questions. If you if you know me, I have people call me all the time and they ask questions about this, that, and the third. And I'm not the person to be like, nah, bro, man, you got to get that. Man, I don't know. Man, go nah. I'm gonna break it down to you, and most people really just don't understand. They just need to hear a couple of key words, and I think that's 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 more than anybody helped. Cause at the time, man, I was around people that knew how to do stuff. I asked questions. I didn't beg, but I asked to be in certain rooms, certain spaces, for certain doors to open, and I never got the opportunity. So. You know what I'm saying? That's just sometimes that's the core, the core of <laughs> the, the, the stuff that you dealt with. Um, but I'm still pushing, you know what I'm saying? And 
I'm in a position right now. I don't even need to ask. And I never ask, had to ask anyone how to do all of this. And uh, I think if you get to that point where you don't have to ask anyone to do anything and you rely on self, number one, you use a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And it, you can go a long way. People that's always trying to ask for resources and I need to learn how to do this and don't want to go get the information for themselves. And man, I wish I was coming up in the music game in this era because the information is out there. It's up to your lazy ass to get it. You know what I'm saying? At the time, the only information you can get is if you know somebody, if you were somebody, family member, somebody that you was kissing ass to, or you basically had to just get it out there on your own. So a lot of this knowledge that I, I do on my channel, on my social media and stuff like that, I learned all of this stuff on my own before I even went to school. Um, it took a lot of money to buy books, going to Barnes and Nobles. Um, you almost had to kind of like be a nerd. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I already know people who talk shit behind my back and be like, yeah, that dude right there. Yeah, he music, 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 nerd, 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 nerd. That's fine. <laughs> I take it all the goddamn day, every day um, and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, um, music has actually, it, it, it it's taking care of me. Uh, I've been down, I've been down bad, 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 like for real. And, um, I like to share my story. I've been down bad, like no place to stay bad. And the only way I maintained by way of a couple of people that has passed away, um, they helped me out because they knew the potential. Sometimes people know your potential and they really want to help you out. But people that know your potential and they just want to kind of like, I don't know, leech off of you or just want to keep you around for different information. Those people are not good for you, man. So I was fortunate enough to have people when I was like down bad. It was a couple of times in my life when in my early 30s and my late 20s, well, I was I was I was fucking up. But at the same time, you know, what I'm saying I ain't have a place to stay at one time here in Houston. Real nigga activity. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't going to school, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know where I'd be at because uh my knowledge of live sound got me a couple of church gigs to do live sound, go into a couple of churches and advise them on what equipment that they needed to get. You know what I'm saying? Whether they needed a whole mixing board, they needed to change a couple of things with their setup, with their uh, speakers and stuff like that. That's the type of knowledge, man, that's always going to get keep a dollar in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, I, the, the, those two gentlemen that actually helped me out, they passed away, man, but they was really good, solid gentlemen that wasn't even in music, man. So a lot of times people, if they know you worthy of help and knowledge, they're going to they gonna open the door for you and stuff like that, man. And so, yeah, actually three guys, all three of them passed away, man. Uh, one guy actually got me into the AV, uh, AV industry, uh, which is basically what I'm working in right now. And he just knew the potential. So, uh, yeah, man, like for real. So that's why I tell people all the time. Take knowledge seriously. Um, music is always going to be there. It's, it's not going to go away. But when you have a chance to learn something, learn that motherfucker. Like, for real, man. Learn it. For real. So, you asked some good questions, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. Sure. All good, bro. Appreciate you. So, um, what's going on with your OP? What is this? OP? OP. OPP guns. Um, you want Adobe Professional License? It seems like it's a steady work. Uh, it actually is, man. Um, if you don't have a LinkedIn account, go ahead and create your LinkedIn account. You can learn some of that stuff and you can get a LinkedIn certification. Um, but you don't, you got to sign up for LinkedIn premium. Um, look into Berkeley School of Music um, to do online. Stay away from that stuff with like Udemy and stuff like that, man. It ain't, in my opinion, I don't, it's not accredited. It's, it's something that's not taken seriously. But if you want to learn something dopey, uh, definitely look into Berkeley School of Music. Um, check Google um, Google certified courses. I don't think they have anything audio related on that. But um, I think uh, it's a it's an audio school in Los Angeles that is accredited and it has the online program. Um, Berkeley School of Music for sure. LinkedIn. I actually took a couple of Adobe uh, Adobe um, uh, surround sound courses and everything like that. 
and um, you get kind of like a little certification. Now, it's not going to take you far, but it's just going to open up the door and get your mind uh, introduced to what the Dolby situation um, is doing. Me personally, I haven't really worked with anyone that requested that, but like I said, that's the type of information you kind of want to stand up and up. So that's a, yeah, that part right there, man. So yeah, um, any online program that's accredited, um, that can give you a certificate that you can download, definitely hop on to those and the money is definitely worth it. Rather it's $30, 40, 50, or even a hundred bucks, man. Like it's well worth it. Like for real. And I think the Adobe, the Adobe stuff, man, it's really, it's, it's, it's getting to the music now. So for sure. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. That's you gotta hold yourself accountable, man. I don't mean to go on this uh, tangent, but um, uh, let me just kill some dead space here, or whatnot. Um, but yeah, um, seeing as how y'all talking, uh, as a man, you gotta hold yourself accountable. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm going to be the first person to tell you I ain't a perfect guy. I done done some fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? I done put myself in position. Find, um, I done put myself in positions by decisions that I made that hasn't really been smart. You know what I'm saying? Um, and not to say, say too much about my business or whatnot, man, but you know what I'm saying? If I can run that time back, I definitely would have made some different decisions. And I could have been in some high places, man, to be honest with you. But sometimes a man has to go through an ignorance phase in order for him to wake up. And, um, you know what I'm saying? You got to hold yourself accountable. There ain't nobody out here saying, man, I'm I'm good. I got this philosophy. When you're young, you fuck up. When you get older, you're going to be wise. If you're young and you do everything correctly, at some point later on down in your life, you're going to fuck up. At some point in your life, you're going to fuck up and you're going to have to be accountable for your actions. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie to you. Like as of last year, late last year, like accountability was a big thing with me last year. And uh, man, it just feels good to get a lot of that accountable weight off your shoulders as a man and stuff like that. So um, when you hit rock bottom, I trust me, dog. I know been there man you know what I'm saying um but you know what I'm saying you gotta hold yourself accountable even as a music producer you know what I'm saying like integrity is anything don't be down here doing bad business I don't mean it man because uh we talking right now I don't mean to say that but you know what I'm saying that's why um people really kind of fuck with me you know what I'm saying not to toot my own horn but I'm just I'm just speaking facts man like I don't I, I guess I don't have any enemies. At one point, I had to get loud with some folks <laughs> over some bad business transactions, but that shit was done to me. I ain't really never did any bad business to buy nobody. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody want to argue the fact, they can hop on this motherfucker right now. We can have a conversation. But you know what I'm saying? I, I always give more of me to someone. And I used to put my family on the back burner, primarily my kids. That's part of my bad decision making because I let music take over. I was chasing that music shit, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to be a producer, wanting to be in certain doors and stuff like that. And I forgot about my kids, bro. Real talk. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And it's, a, it's embarrassing to say, but that's what caused accountability. I had to own up to that shit, man. God will humble your ass real quick. I've been up and I've been down like the stock market. At one point, I thought I was unstoppable because I had everything going. And just like that, just like that, everything was taken away from me. Just like that. Just like that. I had the car, the finances, single. Yeah, you couldn't tell a nigga nothing. <laughs> and fell asleep at the wheel. And that fucked me up. Just went down spiral just like that, man. So, yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So, accountability is everything, man. I'm kind of glad you said that, bro. Um, yeah, that that right there, man, that hit home right there. 
Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm glad y'all talking. Uh, I, I really wasn't. Y'all caught me off guard with that one, but um, as a producer, man, I, I just want to say this last thing is that don't get yourself caught up into this hype of beat making is going to take care of you. And it's it's like you see people on YouTube and they're doing it. They're not. I'm not even doing it, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that that visual trick you. You know what I'm saying? It's deception at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have discernment at the end of the day. I don't want to go down that route because I can go down that route with you. But you got to have discernment. That means you got to understand what's going on around you. You got to have you got to have your eyes open, basically, um, or whatnot. But don't let trying to be a music producer take over the 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 common sense of you and stuff like that. I'm I'm living witness of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm still doing this right now because I'm bored as hell. I could be playing video games. Um, I could be spending time with my wife working on her doctorate program right now. You feel me? So she she's in a study group right now because they got midterms going on. So this is what I do. I put my time in. Been putting my time in. I'm going to continue putting my time in. I got to wake up in the morning at 6 a.m. to go to work. You know what I'm saying? But... I, I, I've been there done that But somebody that's new Getting into that Man look bro Take your time dog If you got the money to get it Get it If you don't have it Use what you can Learn from it though You don't gotta have What Wavy Wayne has On his YouTube channel As far as like everything That's in that studio And stuff like that Because nine times out of ten You don't know how to use it To the T If you don't wanna take time To, to read a manual Why the hell go buy the shit You see what I'm saying That's my whole philosophy of it Um, So a lot of this stuff with music is at the end of the day, it's electronics. And electronics is electricity. Audio is electricity. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to be an electrician, that's you you you, you gotta you gotta get on that shit type shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, don't let this music shit take over you and make you make bad decisions, man. <sighs> me and, and that's that's so crazy because me and my partner, we was talking about this earlier today. You got to fund your career. You know what I'm saying? However you fund it, hey, man, that's your business. <laughs> Stuff like that. But you got to fund your career, man. Don't go broke behind music. You know what I'm saying? Don't go chasing waterfalls. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, be smart with what you do. You know what I'm saying? If you got time to do it, do it. You've got a family that needs you first, man, handle that, man. For real. If I can run that back that time. Man, my life will be in a different type of situation, bro. Like for real, on the good part. But like I said, I chose to chase this music. Don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. don't do it, man. Handle your business first, and then you can do that, man. Because you don't want to be forty years old doing what I'm doing here, looking crazy. <laughs> but you know, what I'm saying uh, I like doing this because it's a passion. I've been doing music shit all my life. You know, what I'm saying all my life. Played instruments when I was in grade school. You know what I'm saying? I played on the collegiate level. So I know music. It's different for me than somebody's coming in here because they think that's going to get them out of whatever situation. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to what's going on with you. Streaming ain't paying that much. People saying this or what. It, it, it's it's not, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my little tidbit, man. We're going to get back to mixing and stuff like that. I, I appreciate all the... <sighs> I appreciate all that, man. Like, for real. Y'all had some... Man... K song, you got some, you got some, you got, you got some good stuff, man. Oh, uh, so yeah, me too. Uh, respect that. Uh, what you need? Equi what equipment do you need uh, for? It? So, uh, for production engineering, um, the equipment that you would need definitely is the audio interface. Um, if you're just making beats, audio interface, very good computer, um, uh, a very reliable hard drive, um, and some really good. Good speakers. You don't have to necessarily go buy the yams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but read the reviews. You know what I'm saying? Like, get you something that sounds good to your ear. So, what that means is go to Guitar Center. Tell them, hey, I want to demo your speakers. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear each pair of speakers and make your determination from there, man. Just because it's a five-star rating don't mean it's going to match your ear profile for your body. I don't know if a lot of people know that. This is, this is why you go to school. 
your ear, everyone, everyone has a different Fletcher Monster curve. I probably said it wrong, <laughs> but you have a different ear profile. My ear profile is not like yours. You feel me? So you got to, you got to, let's say all Yamaha speakers and I got all KRKs. That's my ear profile. My ears just, they, they sound, they, they just accustomed to the KRK frequency spectrum and how they're made. And somebody else stuff, they just may be more mid-driven on their ear profile. You feel I me? Mean? But um, yeah, interface, solid produ- um, solid um computer, MIDI controller for sure. Um, reliable hard drive, man. You can get started like that. Now, when you're getting into engineering, um, it just depends on what what style what lane you're going down with engineering. Um, if you're gonna be recording people, um, definitely get you a if you got the money, get you a a good interface that has good specs. That's on you for your research for us what you're going to do. Another thing is get your preamp because you're going to need a preamp. Interface preamps, just don't do it unless you're going to pay. Like if you got a UAD, that's cool, but you still need a preamp. Get you a good preamp. Um, I got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I got seven outboard preamps and this damn mixer right here, which has Onyx preamps, which because this is a Mackie mixer. I got preamps for days. So I can get certain things out of certain tones for that. So preamps is a, a must. EQ and compression outboard, you don't need that shit. You can use plugins, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Um a good microphone. A, a good microphone. Um that's one of those things you gotta test. Again, take your ass to Guitar Center, speak behind a microphone, whatever sounds good to you. Assumingly, your artist is going to sound good because at the end of the day, if you record that artist, you're probably going to be mixing that artist too. So you got to test out microphones. One thing you got to test is microphones and speakers. <laughs> Stuff like that, man. You got to test microphones and speakers um, or whatnot. Let's see. I'm just looking around my studio. What else are you going to need? Um, and if you're getting outboard gear, make sure you get an interface that can handle four or more ins and outs. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get an interface that's two in, two out, and then you got bought you a piece of outboard gear for us to preamp, and you're running out of ins and outs and everything like that. So it's been that extra money to get something more than four in, four inputs and four outputs. Um, also, think about your computer. The type of computer that you have is going to depend on if you get USB three, uh, USB three, um, the USB three. Uh, uh, God damn, hold on a second. I'm having a brain for it. Um, you got Thunderbolt. So that's for all the Mac people, some PC people. If you're going to use USB 2, cool, not a problem. Pretty much a standard on PC. Uh, if you find a USB 3 interface, get that motherfucker quick. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the new, that's going to be the new standard here in the next two two to three years, USB 3. Um, it, can send, it can send data transfers a whole lot faster than USB 2. You know what I'm saying? Um, so look at that type of stuff. Um, the DA AD conversion, you know what I'm saying? If it's got a good converter in there, <clears throat> Motu, um, yeah, get that. You know what I'm saying? Focus right is cool. UAD is cool, but you got some other good uh interfaces out there, Army, <clears throat> Motu, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That kick ass and take names. <laughs> so um I ain't gonna lie to you, I have a focus right 18i20, really good interface, does what I need, but but I'm saving a thousand dollars right now to get the new Motu A two A interface because that's the that's that's the new new that they they actually they got some specs in there that ain't really hitting um they ain't really fucking with the focus right Claret which is uh uh basically it's the same thing as the eighteen i twenty but the preamps on there is a little bit better so it's a, it's a lot of those things and I got a YouTube video on that if you go to my channel I'm talking about that Motu 828 interface man go check it out um that's the kind of things that you gotta know you know what I'm saying a lot of people don't want to be nerds they just got money and they just want to buy something so you know what I'm saying but if you really want to make yourself different and stand out from the rest of the crowd you got to do your research on your equipment um it's just like a a make I'm, I'm sorry man. I don't want a demographic but it's just like somebody that cut yards they know what company that has a really good lawnmower weed eater and blower they 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 went and they tested it they spent some money 
shit then broke and they've been pissed off and like hey man this is a waste investment so you know what i'm saying you got to know your tools um and what tools you choose is your own research and there's a I ain't gonna lie to you it's a connection once you find something that works for you it's a connection you're not gonna let it go you're gonna hold on for for a while and stuff like that man so yeah oh yeah record said get a hard drive oh you gonna get a hard drive oh yeah hard drive i'm gonna tell y'all about hard drives record no he uh he said what's that uh no bro <laughs> uh i'm not I, you know what i'm gonna put a that's a good idea he said put an amazon list up i'm gonna do that man oh um, you subbed already so man i appreciate you i'm gonna do that i'm gonna make a amazon list i'm gonna make a post about it and i'm gonna put the link on there for anyone to create man so just like i said you sub and you should be getting my notifications and stuff like that that's a good idea matter of fact i'm gonna do a video about that you gave me a good video idea man appreciate you big dog man god bless you um but yeah back to the hard drives what record said we said um uh, uh hard drives let me tell you about hard drives bro oh my goodness i done lost in 2010 i started producing in 2003 since 2003 up until 2010 so we're talking about seven years worth of sounds reason refills uh that i had i lost that because the hard drive i plugged it in thinking everything's gonna be a go motherfucker didn't want to turn on and that was at the time where we didn't have solid state drives so um <laughs> you gotta have if you buy one hard drive go ahead buy another one asap always have a hard drive to back up another hard drive i ain't gonna lie to you shit i got let me think about this i think i got eight one terabyte hard drives because i catch them on sale all the time i got right now that's running all my sounds and samples uh as far as like my drum shots and um my drum shots all my sample loops and everything like that right now i ain't gonna front you yeah matter of fact i'm, I'm gonna show you Cause I know, I know I know some people that know me and they always say I'll be I talk a lot of shit and I'll be capping. I don't cap. I ain't got time to lie, bro. Only thing I'ma lie on is the hope and stuff like that. You feel me? But when it comes to this knowledge, I don't, I don't lie about that shit. I ain't got time to lie. Um, so this is my hard drive right here. Let me go ahead and put that up there. Boom, there it is right there. Let's go ahead and get a big window. Right now, this is a, a file. Uh, it's called Wiz Tree. Um, it's a free software, and it analyzes your hard drive. So it'll tell you where everything at to the T. It'll give you the size of your folders. It'll let you know, hey, you know, in this particular folder, you got 50 gigs. And so if you need to free up some space, you can actually see what's on your hard drive versus going through all the Windows Explorer, and you get kind of lost, and it, it gets cumbersome after a while. Um I think I got over 2.3 terabytes worth of sounds. And this is a four. Yeah, this is a four point four point five terabyte hard drive. And right now I have three point seven terabytes uh worth of information used already. That's not including my contact libraries. So um my my little overlay is uh is blocking it. Uh, let me see if I can turn it off. Uh yeah there it is right there if you can see that on the vertical view um or whatnot so basically um this is my sample library that's 2.1 terabyte contact library is 1.3 terabyte all my drums is 190 198.6 gigabytes um and then i got some other shit on here that's random or whatnot but those three folders right there that's taking up much of the time everything that you see in orange is the samples and loops um, and this thing does a real good job of categorizing everything and everything that you see in that from basically here to here is contact libraries and then the drums are right here and then I gotta I have to basically free up the recycle bin um, because I'm got 167 gigs worth of allocated space in the recycle bin so i gotta clear that out to make space or whatnot so i say all of that to say if i need to back up this 4.5 terabyte hard drive i need to have another one like it 
Um, so look into a G drive. Um, you can get that at Sweetwater.com. G drives are very very reliable. Um, Sweetwater.com is they've been around since I got introduced with to music or whatnot. They're an online retailer, and um, if you want professional anything, shop from them. Sweetwater.com. Um, they sell hard drives on there. Um, right now I have a six terabyte under here G drive. I got everything backed up on it. Matter of fact, this is a good reminder to back up everything at some point in April. That way I don't get caught with my pants down um, and everything like that because it happens. You know what I'm saying? And this 4.5 terabyte, it's not a solid state. It's a it's a it's a HDD. So it's one of those hard hard disk drives that spin. It's mechanical. It will stop at some point. It's not gonna go keep going on forever and forever ever. If you're lucky, you're lucky. But you know what I'm saying? Back that motherfucker up because it is painful to lose any information with your shit. I kid you not. Um <laughs> Yeah, Weird Street, man. Yeah, Weird Street is the truth, bro. Um It is painful to lose your information, whether it's beats, whether it's uh, sounds sessions you lose that it's like somebody took your soul out and stuff like that man so back up your stuff pretty regularly um you 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 be all right man like back that shit up man for real so i got a six terabyte which is my largest um at some point i'm gonna get a, a 12 terabyte i just gotta figure out what company um that can basically has the best spinning hard drive that can hold that much data um or whatnot um if you're if you got the money to afford one get a raid drive um it's a raid drive and what that is is just one hard drive enclosure and it has a a dummy hard drive underneath it or attached to it and every time you put data on that hard drive it automatically writes that data on the dummy drive that way if something happens to the actual physical drive the dummy drive will be a backup you know what I'm saying so a lot of studios do have that um and also if you can uh when they on sale get a samson t5 t7 you know what I'm saying those little samson um solid state drives or even a hard drive like this um what i like to do is to save money um and this some nerd shit um <laughs> um the, the little uh nvme I think that's the the correct thing or whatnot. Um, it's a solid state drive, but it goes inside laptops, and they in this little form factor right here, kind of like a stick of gum type situation. But I think it's the NVMe type um, hard drive, solid state drive. Um, you can catch these on sale. You can get like a terabyte or a two terabyte, less than the two hundred dollars. Right now, if you go on Amazon, you can probably get a two terabyte, one eighty nine on sale. Get get an external hard drive enclosure that fits that type of hard drive, and I mean for the amount of that you're gonna pay for a dedicated in, uh, external hard drive, you can actually buy one that goes into your laptop. Get a little enclosure for about thirteen dollars, and you can spun shit right. I don't know two hundred fifteen dollars total versus getting a two terabyte dedicated hard drive, uh, external hard drive, and you spun three hundred dollars for it or more. You know what I'm saying? So you can save $100 by, you know what I'm saying, buying hard drives that goes in computers and buying the external uh, hard drive enclosure for them as well, man. So um, you got to start off smart. But yeah, like Rekka said, man, get your terabyte for sure. I'd rather a person have five, six, seven, eight terabytes and back up everything on that, man. They come in handy. Real activity, man. Oh, uh, I was going to address something else that Rex said. Uh, let's see here let me go up there yeah there we go uh, let's see here raid drive yo so Ray <laughs> uh, now you had said something else uh, where that was oh yeah so this right here he said no problem so At the end of the day, man, I I try to hear uh oh my bad, my guy, uh Samsung, you know what I'm saying? Just like the company that made the TVs, S M A S U N G. Uh let me type that in there for you real quick, man. Um there we go. There you go. Um 
go. Samsung right there, man. T5 or T7. Um, or whatnot. But yeah, Rick, man, Rick, he, um, Rick, man, he, uh, he's an artist. He records himself and, uh, he sends me, um, his sessions, um, and stuff like that. And I try to help artists out, um, understand how to record themselves. If that's something that they want to do. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I used to be against it, but I had to understand it and I had to look at it from a business sense. It's like, well, how can an artist benefit from that? An artist can save money if he records himself because the mixing, I mean, think about it. If you go to a studio that charge by the hour, let's say probably, <laughs> I ain't been to a studio that charged by an hour in a minute. But let's say they charge, I don't know, $70 an hour. You get in there and you ain't the best of the artists and it take you three, four hours to get a complete song done. Complete. None of that, I'm going to come back type shit. A complete song done, it take you about three, four hours. You're already in the hole at least $150. Then you got to pay the mixing master fee. Yeah. If you take the time to learn, you know what I'm saying, you can actually save that money throughout the year. And just think about how many songs you can do in your own environment. You know what I'm saying? Get a lot done. That's a record about it. You know what I'm saying? Most people, they talk shit. We here. But things get done. We were just talking about this today, boy. Look how the Lord working, boy. Things get done. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got stuff in the back burner. And as an artist, you ain't never really got to worry about trying to keep up, spending your money, wasting your time in the studio. If you really just take a lot of time to record yourself, at least it's all you can always find somebody mix your shit. Holla at me if you want your stuff mixed. <laughs> but you can go on Fiverr. You can hire somebody to mix your stuff. You can go and search around Facebook or something like that. You can find somebody to mix your stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? recording process is the most creative and it takes it takes it takes a great deal to get that done you know what i'm saying everybody can't record everybody i done heard the horror stories i'm not gonna say any names but my home well the city that i'm from you know they had people come there and they say there is no interaction there's nobody saying hey that's a bad take nah that's good now nah, you need to do that over they just want to hit f12 click where it needs to dub at and go on about your business and then have the audacity to give you a fucking mixed down version to tell you yeah you can go to the club with that and spend only 30 minutes mixing that i'm gonna be honest with you that's highway robbery you, there ain't no ain't no ain't no motherfucking way ain't no motherfucking way somebody gonna mix your song 30 minutes to say all right this is cool if you if, you, if you're a victim of that your ass just got fucked Real nigga activity. No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Because if I wasn't talking, we will still be mixing this beat, this instrumental and stuff like that. It just takes a, it takes a certain amount of time to mix something, bro. Average time around about two hours. You know what I'm saying? To get it right, right. And stuff like that. Um, if you're a very particular engineer, it's going to take you a little bit longer. Maybe three hours. You know what I'm saying? But 30 minutes, if anybody, please, folks, if you go to a studio and they say they're going to record it, I mean, mix it right then and there, bro, they just, they're using a template, number one. Number two, they're using an all-in-one type plug-in. And all they're doing is just basically busting your vocals to one track. I'm sorry. This, man, y'all, y'all, man, y'all, y'all got the nigga talk. All they're doing is taking, let's say, 10 tracks, busting it down to one aux, putting an all-in-one vocal plug-in on there and calling it a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shit be happening like that. Hell, I'm going to be honest with you. You better off getting a mixer, plugging in a microphone right here, doing a fucking one knob compression, a three-band EQ mix on there, turn that bitch up, route that to the sub one and two, and then record that to a goddamn fucking tape recorder. Then fucking around with somebody doing that with a plug-in. And it sound better on this mixer than it would with a plug-in. I'm just keeping it 100. Been doing this for 20 years, man. That's why that's why record fuck with me, because you can't bullshit me when it comes to the audio. So, please, 
somebody. <laughs> oh. Hey, he said, preset your ass to death. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey man, like I saw I, I did an internship with a guy, um, Grammy nominated, two Grammy nominated engineers here in Houston. Did an intern there, and um you'll be surprised what they'll teach you. Um just to save time to get a get a recording process done and i didn't i done met some big dogs here in houston as far as the artists you know what i'm saying people that you've seen on tv they ain't came through there you know what i'm saying and some of these artists they come in there and you know when you're presetting something um it's, it's got to be with good intention like let's say for instance you're coming in there and you got to do a feature for a verse they called you at the last minute like big dog what's going on man i need a verse from you man i need that bitch by tomorrow morning okay now okay there's the exception to that you feel me um and it shouldn't really take you that long to you know what I'm saying uh mix down the verse or whatnot but in the event you know what I'm saying there's some tricks and there's some tips and tricks that you can do in order to do presets and stuff like that man for real for real um but uh yeah presets i started like that and i learned that was a bad idea um they had some artists that used to come to my home studio back in lafayette louisiana and uh i ain't gonna lie to you you know what I'm saying that's when i got got into the pro tools world and you know what I'm saying utilizing uh vst effects and everything like that and i was trying to understand presets what what was the point of a preset all I knew is when I chose the preset, male vocal air, oh, that bitch sound good, you know what I'm saying, whole time. I didn't know that, you know what I'm saying, you have to, it's a preset to get you started and then you edit from there or <laughs> whatnot, man. Um, I don't use presets now. You give me any plug-in, fuck a preset, unless I'm really on a time, time strength frame. I do not use presets. You can ask record TV, man. He didn't sat there and watch me mix before. I don't use presets. Don't. And to be honest with you, I really, I use plugins out of convenience now because I didn't took about three years to uh, get some analog gear and stuff like that. So um, now lead vocals don't even see a preset. Um, the only time I use pro, um, plugins now is like for um, beats, um, background vocals, and certain parts of the hook. You know, what I'm saying background hooks and stuff like that. But everything that's important to the vocal, I'm running it through analog now. So it's kind of like a hybrid mix and stuff like that. All that stuff that I'm saying, it comes with experience, like for real. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you're lucky enough to have a lot of equipment, you can run everything through hardware. So it's, it's just a lot of different configurations that you can do with your studio setup once you get to that particular point. Um, but if you want to learn mixing, learn through a plug-in. It's just quicker, more accessible, and it's a better learning tool than with hardware um, and stuff like that. Hardware is good when you want to put your fingers on something, but if you really want to learn the application of it, a, pre a plugin is pretty cool, man. So, Los, what's good with you, man? Hey, bro, I got this little situation in here, man. We we just talking and stuff like that. We've been talking for a minute um, with the boy, Kason Israel. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm from Louisiana, so we 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 slur certain things. I want to say Kason, but as uh, a Kason Kason Israel. Um, and Rick, we over here just talking. Uh, Cavo, what's good with you, man? I ain't see your comment. What kind of music do you make? I make everything urban, man. I don't, I don't specify uh, trap and all that other stuff, man. Uh, I make everything urban related. Uh, so I just finished working on an R and B album. That took about shit. I ain't, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. That took a minute though. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault because i was done done um uh, this just you know artist complications or whatnot but just finished the r&b album um and did, did a little bit of zodico um of course rap uh i haven't did any pop um uh, so everything urban really black urban music yeah that's that's the type of music i uh i kind of make to be honest with you man that's a pretty good question right there what i do want to get into is uh start doing more uh, uh tv music placements uh so if you're watching this 
this is free game right here. Fuck the music industry, bro. Because that's the type of shit I'm on right now. I'm just doing my research so I can put myself in position. Um, but you can make more money in TV music placements with sync. Sync licensing and um, TV placement with your music. So let's say, for instance, you watch ESPN. You know, ESPN, when you watch Get Up or First Take, and then you watch Sports Center, all those hip hop beats that you hear in the background, they got to get that from somewhere, right? So there's a pool of producers that are picked or work for ESPN solely as a music. What's the fancy title? Because I see it on LinkedIn all the time. It's a music produce, producer or content content creator or something like that. It's a fancy title, but them niggas make it beats all day, every day. Exclusive for ESPN. So every time Sports Center run through and that beat is played on Sports Center, what well, you when we like right now, goddamn Sports Center is on right now. And that that they're gonna show Sports Center at least three times in two hours. That beat is getting played three times. They getting a percentage off of that. Your reality shows, you hear those little corny ass beats. I done seen a lot of reality shows that have used reason loops. Yes. I done heard some reality uh, shows that use splice. Yeah. So somebody is putting those music that music together. Some networks got smart and they just said, well, you know what? I'm just going to have something like a music catalog website where, uh, you know, saying we just pick the music. We have the producer pay a certain fee. And if we like it, we'll pick from that. So it's different ways you got to do it. Um, it's just hard trying to get that right information. There's there's people out there that advertise they can get you in that particular industry, but you got to chunk off the change. So basically to understand the format, because there's a certain format that you have to arrange that music in and also get the get the connections for us, like the contacts to the networks and everything. You have to pay money. That's just the world we live in, man. Like shit in order to get up there you gotta you gotta it's a yeah payola system and whatnot so um but that's what i kind of want to get into um and stuff like that um that's really really cool man uh so that, yeah that's 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 the kind of music i wake man all black music man <laughs> for real uh so my profession man to be honest with you i'm an av technician um level two uh on-site support av technician so I'm responsible for um, conference room support. And I work for a all company. Uh, you probably go to their gas station all the time. <laughs> the colors are yellow. But um, I work for that company. Been working there for shit. In about eight more days, I've been working for them uh, for about five years right now, man. But uh, I'm an AV technician, level two. Um, and basically what I do is I make sure that these conference rooms are working operational. And if there's any issues, I have to either solve that issue right then and there, because where I work at, I work in a trader division. So I have a lot of high level executives. These people make money moves in the six figures in two minutes. I kid you not. I see the board every day. <laughs> Something like that, man. Yeah. But I got to make sure that these people can talk to somebody in China, South Africa, goddamn Calgary, uh, Canada, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn in Brazil. It's not not just domestic. We're talking international. Uh, so we use um, video conferencing. Uh, I'm not going to disclose the name, but we use um, video conferencing from, you know what I'm saying, this, this major player in computer makers and stuff like that. But, um, but I just make sure that these people can be connected when there's an issue. Um, I work at a level two um, and everything like that as far as trying to fix that issue. If I can't solve it due to safety reasons, um, because we work in these safety environments or whatnot, um, then we go to an AV integrator. That's more high level as far as programming. And they also have access to get the hardware peripherals to come in, do the installation, make the changes out and everything like that. So I'm kind of like a level two. Um, that job field, um, if you, let's say, to apply to something today and tomorrow, you get hired. Um, the starting salary is, a, you should be getting about 65, 65 a year and stuff like that. Um, if you go and do everything the right and you want to get up there to level three, um, 
get all your right certifications and everything like that um you could be hitting easily at about 75 you know what i'm saying so um i don't think i have ever met anyone if you're a programmer and you and you want to go down that route where you go in and you do uh dsp programming do video programming on the network side of things uh you can go down that route and you can make around about 80 90 just depends on your level of expertise and how many certifications you have so what i was saying earlier yeah you know what I'm saying a lot of people are not going to audio school of course to be what i'm talking about but you know what I'm saying you go and look into the av industry and get those proper certifications and stuff like that you can yeah you can do what you do me personally i haven't gotten to that level because i don't want that level you know what i'm saying i'm good where i'm at right now i'm a military veteran so hey man i'm straight <laughs> it's not like that but um if i want to pursue that by all means i can but i i, I got my hands in, into other things like this right here i like doing this right here um most of those jobs they're traveling drops um so you know what I'm saying you may be in houston one day next day you may be in san antonio the next day you may be in uh uh in austin and i'm talking i'm just talking regional next day you may be in new orleans so you know what i'm saying you you're constantly going to be moving around to different job sites different school districts different companies that need something or whatnot um so it's a very demanding job for us time for us travel um and for us user need i work at a site where these motherfuckers cry because they I, i'm sorry bro i never seen people that make a lot of money in the six figures and no motherfuckers are responsible sending a motherfucking oil pipeline from houston to goddamn new orleans they're responsible for each checkpoint along the fucking interstate sending a goddamn oil pipeline from fucking houston refinery to goddamn new orleans for refinery and these assholes can't even plug in the hdmi cable to the computer i'm just saying that should be amazed <laughs> i'll be laughing bro that shit that shit funny as hell man oh my god but it, it made me understand like a lot of people just really don't understand technology to the simplest form like plugging in an hdmi into a pc that you use every day they still don't understand it they might be on some other shit man but um you know that's the type of profession i do man um and stuff like that and then when i get off of work i do this shit right here you know what i'm saying i make sure people that i care about that fuck with me i fuck with them and stuff like that we all we all you know what i'm saying just doing stuff that keep us out of trouble man that's it bro so yeah man I ain't doing nothing special, bro. <laughs> nah, but uh, you know, what I'm saying, um, man, it, 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 I, I get into technology, bro. Like it's 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 taking off. It's already had taken off, and it's only gonna go go up and stuff like that. So I tell people all the time, like if your kids is technology driven, and you know, what I'm saying, can understand technology, that's a good fit for them. Real talk, man. Uh, I think our conversation has slowed down, so I'm going to jump back on this uh, beat right here and shut my trap. And uh, I think we was working on the drums right here. Let's uh, see where we're at right now. I'll be checking y'all out in the chat, though. Good conversation, though, man. I appreciate y'all, man. All right, so I'm gonna talk about this plug-in right here. I don't know if y'all can see this, but um, this is kind of like a guitar pedal. Um, but Safari pedals, um, I'm starting to like what they're doing because they're taking um basic mixing practices and they're putting it into a guitar form, but it's actually really good multi-effects here. So this is a three-band EQ, 
And at the bottom, um, well, excuse me, uh, at the top, you have your gain for us, you know, saying boosting and cutting. And then in the middle, you have your frequency knobs. And then at the bottom, you have this drive. So basically, it's a um, it's a three band overdrive circuit at the bottom, um, judging from what this uh, plug in is right here. So let's say, for instance, I got the hi hats running. And if I want to make the hi hats a little crunchy, a little dirty, Which I've been hearing that a lot in beats and stuff like that Where the hi-hats are starting to become crunchy and distorted and stuff like that Where you're going to get an overdrive signal So basically what you're doing is just um, It's it's almost like you're boosting that particular high signal With a little bit of saturation And there's a some type of clipper or limiter that allows you not to sound It doesn't sound bad, but it's going to definitely sound distorted But it's limited It's not going to sound like you're peeking in the red or it's clipping or something like that, but it's an overdrive circuit. That's all it is. And uh, you can get some really good, interesting uh, tones and textures out of that. And sometimes, to be honest with you, if you find the right blend of the overdrive, it'll add weight to that particular frequency spectrum that you're working with. So right now you hear those hi-hats are thin, but when I adjust the overdrive in there, it thickens up the hi-hats. And adds more weight to it. It kind of gives you like an old loaf. It kind of gives you an old school vibe to it. All right, cool. So that's the EQ on there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is uh, utilize this plugin called Line Master. Um, this one right here, um, it ain't nothing but a glorified limiter. Uh, I don't know what the hell the thing does, but it has a two band EQ on it and it has a, a kind of like an input gain going in. And then you can add saturation to it. But it's almost like a um, what I want to say. It's almost like a I don't know. It's almost like it's like a limiter and stuff like that. Uh, I've used it just to drive input gain in it and it sound pretty awesome. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. We don't need to do anything on the EQ side. So we're just gonna drive that uh drive that in here. Turn on the high frequency a little bit. Now we're gonna turn the saturation up. cool so i don't want to mix the drums too 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 much because we still gotta like mix the uh the overall beat so i'm gonna just leave that like it is right there uh there's some things i'm gonna go back and do on those drums uh -huh. i think that piano sounds good i don't know what piano lows be using but the mk ocean piano he been hiding that from me he ain't, he ain't showed me that bsg yet i'm just fucking with you bro <laughs> So with this acoustic guitar, sounds pretty good. We just need to turn the volume up on that one. Yep. Yup, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that's them motherfuckers right there, bro. They dumb as hell, bro. <laughs> they dumb as hell, man. All they know how to do is uh, shoot out directions and keep a budget, man, where I'm at. But they still in charge of making those decisions with those pipelines, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So with sounds, uh, Kason, if you if you're still uh, on the stream and stuff like that, 
So certain sounds and I used to overmix a lot of my beats. But um uh, as of lately, man, if it need something as far as a process, I'm gonna process it. But in this case, like what Los got in here, it sounds good. I ain't fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? So that goes back to your question. Your very first question um, was this right here. This right here. So do you really have to? Not necessarily. When you say track, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna just take the track part and I'm gonna say individual. Certain individual tracks you don't have to necessarily put a EQ or compressor on there or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I know people they have a template where they have a EQ, two compressors, a EQ, a saturator, and a fucking limiter. Don't it's not necessarily needed, man. It does sound good and stuff like that, but I'm the organic mixer and stuff like that. And I feel like you can get more clarity out of it. If you do the top down mixing method, that's a whole nother video. But basically you work backwards instead of working on individual tracks up to the master. You work on the master and work your way down to the individual tracks um, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So my mixing style is basically kind of like an old school approach um, and stuff like that. Hence, that's why I have a mixer. You know what I'm saying? Most most dudes ain't got a mixer in their studio. Just just keep it a beat, or keep it a buck or whatnot, man. Um, but I have an old school approach, man. It's just something about having a mixer. It, it just does something special to it, man. So, um, yeah, man, you don't necessarily don't have to mix every sound like this right here. This sounds beautiful, just by itself. Now, what I could do, just based on dynamics and looking at this wave file. We can add compression on there if we really want to bring out more of the characteristics in that in that acoustic, but not too 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 much. Um, so just to give you an example, let's pull up some little toys here. And if anyone watching on Instagram, I apologize. I got to have like two windows for that and whatnot. I'm just basically monitoring out of one. Um, what not. That drink is busting, bro. So I mixed uh, some fucking, um, what that is. Uh, some 20. Yeah, is that 20 grand? No, that's not 20 grand. Uh, I think it is 20 grand. I don't know. It's some type of a uh, brandy, tropical passion brandy, with uh with the wine, a red sweet wine, uh, uh that shit pretty good, bro. That shit hit. All right, cool. Um, so with that acoustic though, that was a side note. My bad, bro. That aftertaste is is a motherfucker. Uh, pretty good. Uh, let's see here. So with an acoustic, you can use something very uh, uh, not too hard, but something like an opto compressor. So like something like a Latu A ish or whatever. But you want to hit it very softly. So it it so when you use compression on certain sounds and you know when to use it, it'll add not only weight. People used to get this messed up on the term of compression where oh, I'm gonna put a compressor on there, and you know saying the way you turn the parameters, you can make the sound louder. Please do don't 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 mix compression up with making the sound louder. What you're doing is you're enhancing the dynamics of that particular sound source. So just like I'm talking, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the compressor on my voice. And now that's the compressor. So you hear that my voice is not thick. You can still hear my voice, but it's not as forward. It's not thick. It's not. It doesn't have any weight. You see what I'm saying? 
but it sounds like it's low too but that's not what the compressor does it's, it doesn't it's not a fucking turn up the volume type of pr comp um processor it's used to squeeze the dynamics in and really bring out the characteristics of that particular sound source so as i add the compressor in about right there on my microphone you can hear that you know my voice has weight it's evenly dynamic and then anytime i get soft you can hear me when i get soft and when i get loud i can get loud but you'll notice that the volume really doesn't change that's compression so yeah <laughs> that's compression um i know a lot of people get that misconstrued and uh you 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 hear a lot of things where they over compress and it just it kills the it kills the drums it kills a lot of different things so even for myself i have to kind of be careful with compression man because it can it can ruin uh any source or your mix as well now you can hear that that guitar cut through the mix a little bit more because you're compressing you know what i'm saying now i don't have to strain to hear it you feel what i'm saying Is another one. All right, cool. Yeah, this is another one right here, and we're gonna use the same thing. Um, um, but I really like this. This one, this one really kind of like it. Don't need compression. It just really needs the, the volume to come up here on this one. And I'm sorry if I'm rubbing my eyes or not my contacts. I have contacts in, so the motherfuckers getting dry. Yeah, we just need to turn it up. And we may have to put a compressor. We may have to use the compressor just to kind of that initial sound. Because I know if I turn that up. No, no, it's good. It's good. I was thinking more John B. I was thinking more John B. I can hear John B coming out of retirement on this bitch. Matter of fact, man, I know this guy in Houston. That Nick, I'm sorry. That dude, just like John B, man. He, sing, he got a singing style just like John B. Uh, his name is G. Allen. Yeah, G. Allen, man. Just look up G. Allen. He should pull up on Instagram in Houston, Texas. He a white brother. White dude. I used to record him. Nice, nice, nice. He he cold with it, bro. Yeah, he he cold with it. If you want that John B sound, yeah, look up G Allen, G Allen on Instagram. He should pull up my old white guy. Well, not old white guy, but you know, say he's a white guy uh, from Houston, Texas, and in, in uh on Instagram. If you're looking for somebody like John B, sitting right there in Houston. Talking about for the uh, the hi hat los. Oh, you know what los? My bad, my bad. So uh, let me let me let me. Hey, bro, you, you know if you want to get on the on the on the on the live stream, you can you know you can call me. I can hook up the phone and uh, get it Bluetooth to the mixer, man. You can call, go on here, come on, come on and help finish this bad boy on up. That's if you got time too. <laughs> <laughs> let me know man let me know i forgot we were supposed to do uh work on that uh do like a little test run on that and whatnot but uh just let me know bro but uh yeah uh hi-hat yeah if i do that um it's gonna override that hi-hat that's already in there just to let you know um but we can we can definitely try that once i get there i'm almost there though Right. 
And that bill definitely needs some uh need some help on that right there. Speaking of that, hold on one second, bro. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me see something here. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. See? See? Hold on one second. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me see something here. Just a side note. My bad, my bad. I ain't mean to be doing all that kind of extra stuff. But hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me see what something hitting for real quick. Hold on one second. <laughs> Give me one second. Let me see here. And let me go on ahead and say what I got going on because I'll be an ass if uh Ableton Live just start tripping. It's been it's been doing some stupid shit. As of late with this new update. Uh hold on one second. Hold on. I got that comment up there for a reason. Hold on one second. Give me one second. Let me see. Oh. Come on. Come on. Give me one second. Yeah, while that's doing that right there, let me go on ahead and see what this key is real quick. <laughs> Give me one second. That may help me mix a little bit faster. <laughs> Give me one second. E minor, right? It. All right, cool. He just said them done. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hold on one second. Things I used to do, the games I used to play. Heard about past things I used to do, the games I used to play. Heard about past, heard about. I'm just trying to see some, bro. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm 
Man, let me not get myself in trouble on YouTube, man. I already know they're going to flag my goddamn page or whatnot. See, that's why I don't... That's why... That's why I be scared to fucking sample. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how these beat makers today, they just be sampling their ass off because they don't know how to make nothing original anyway. But, see, shit, man. Goddamn, bro. See, man, that bitch... That shit go hard, bro. I like that. Yeah. So, let me... um. That's just gonna expedite this. I don't know. I just I gotta have some vocals with this one. All right, let me go ahead and just record this in here, just for demonstration purposes. Let me see, just for demonstration purposes. So yeah, I, I <laughs> so the only reason why I did it, man, only because um I can kind of like you know what I'm saying when I go and add this extra instrument in here and stuff like that, I kind of know what kind of goes in there. But that's yeah, it just helps. It helps, man. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like on the studio vibes or whatnot. On the cool, that's what I be doing too, man. I go on YouTube and I download the sound and then I put that in the damn um in the beat. It helps. You know what I'm saying? Because, hell, I'll be up in here, man. Y'all be surprised, man, what a nigga be doing behind the closed doors. I'll be up in here singing my ass off. Mm-hmm. I'll put this motherfucker on, and then I'll just record some bullshit in there. And then Los, last year, Los was on my live stream talking about, man, yeah, man, that's a good idea, man. Go ahead and record what you be what you be humming. <laughs> Stop clowning me, Los. <laughs> Oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Nah, I, 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 I ain't gonna alter your beat, man. I just put that in there just to see what it was gonna hit for, man, or whatnot. I kind of knew it was gonna fit, though. Um, that's why I like Serato sampling that new, uh, that beat, the, the beat stems, um, feature they have in there. That's pretty fire. I'm gonna put it in there, though. I'm gonna see. May have to hit up Diala, man. Got where I was, man. To be honest with you, I got off. I got off off task. Okay. Okay. I ain't. I ain't even hear this motherfucker in here. I see you, Los. Man, that's the rhythm right there, man. Boy, you got that shit turned down like that, bro. Man, you got that sound turned down. That's the rhythm right there. That's the pulse of the. Oh shit! That, 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 that shit.
Oh, that that that, 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 that make you bob your head a little extra. Yeah, bro, you had that sound turned down, boy. What, boy, what's wrong with you, boy? Man, that thing go on right now. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, uh, if anybody got beats on here, man, I like I like mixing beats. I like hearing other people's beats, man. Uh, if you want me to mix your beat online, I think I'm gonna start advertising that, man. Feel free, uh, hit me up on my YouTube. I mean, on my YouTube channel. You know, what I'm saying, hit me up or. Uh, you can shoot me an email, man. Uh, I could definitely mix it online, bro, and um, and have fun with it, bro. Like, I'm not one of them producers where I don't fuck with nobody, shit, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't egotistical driven right there, man. I get a kick out of hearing other shit, man. Like for real. So, if anyone wants to get their beat mixed down online, just to help yourself get heard or build up your clientele, because there's always somebody out there looking at YouTube for beats, so. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just feel free to hit me the email. I'll put that up there, keep it up there, um, and everything like that. <clears throat> oh, okay. But see, yeah, but see, see, low see, that's what you be doing though. See, see, you you see, you be trying all kind of different stuff and that should be that should be fire, yeah, man. Even when we together, like when we in the studio working together, yeah, bro Like for real. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, like that little part right there. Yeah, that bit that see that 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 now once I mute it out, watch it just it just doesn't have that same intensity. You see how you you lose the rhythm? Like it was really like it's like you searching for that extra vibe, but when you unmute it and put it back in, but it's subtle, you gotta make it subtle. And I'm about to EQ it just a little bit to bring it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that big that big old horror dub, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like that one. We're just gonna bring up the high end, uh, the, the top end on that uh that particular sound just to bring it out, just a tad bit, just a tidget. a while to get it it was a upper frequency right there that need to come out see see he got all these goddamn subtle ass goddamn sounds in there bro <laughs> which is a good thing and it's on the same chord and note That's a sound right there. That's a sample pack right there, bro. Hint, hint. <clears throat> Residual income. I use that in the beat. Yeah, I like that right there. Thank you. 
go. All right, cool. Um, just the FYI, um, in Ableton Live or any DAW, the longer your fader throws are, the better you can dial in when you're adjusting your levels. So if your faders are all the way down like that, you won't get a fine. You can't find that level finally. You know what I'm saying? Or the increments is is not going to be as small as it is if it's way up there. That's why a lot of people, when they go and work on consoles or buy a mixer, they want a mixer that's around 60 millimeters long or 100 millimeters long. It gives you the right amount of adjustment on the levels and stuff like that. This is a little FYI. So when you hear somebody say, oh, this console has 100 millimeter faders, that's the reason why you, they can they can mix on the faders a little bit finer, if that makes any sense. It's all levels. All right, cool. We at the last two sounds. Los, did you mix this already? Because uh, I ain't really heard too much I got to do. We just need to add like some reverbs and delays, but I... I ain't gonna do that on here. I'm already ram my mouth too much. Cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this uh this John Beasy. Uh I've been drop bobbing to this thing. I don't even think I need to add anything to this motherfucker. Like for real. Uh huh. Yeah. Nothing's gonna make you fall from heaven. Girl, I just wanna love you now. Here, bro. Goddamn, my house is too bad. That's just for demonstration purposes. I have to say that because YouTube has a funny way of copywriting beats and, uh, excuse me, uh, flagging channels and everything like that. Only demonstration purposes, YouTube. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and track this bad boy out. Um, so this is the main hook. Why I hear a bow in here?
Take it a step further and take that acoustic out right there. Let's take out all the other stuff. I don't think I need to add anything else to this motherfucker, bruh. I, I had some in my mind earlier, but I was like, I don't know. What you think, Los, if you're still watching? What you think? You think you need to add that guitar in there? Because, man, this the whole vibe right here, bro. Besides adding those hi-hats in there, man, I don't know, dog. That shit grew in there, motherfucker, bro. Talk to me, man. That, that boy got like a bow in there, boy. <laughs> I knew I wasn't tripping. Where that motherfucker at? Right here. That boy got a bow in here. Is that it? No. Something's saying bow in here, man. I know I'm not tripping. Yeah, right here, man. What the fuck? Hold on. Man, I... Uh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hold on. No, not right there. Here. I swear I heard a bow in here. I know I ain't tripping. All right, cool. All right, uh, all right, so we should be good right there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and do our due diligence on that. Uh, start off with that sequence right there. All right, cool. We have the the drums. I normally just go ahead and just individually do those. So let's go ahead and start it. Start and record that. <clears throat> One more time.
See, I heard that motherfucker again, bro. I don't know what's going on. Hit that bass up late, son of a bitch. That is the ride out. All less than right at about three minutes. Target, target time. And that is it. For the arrangement. We're gonna try to add the hi-hats in here. I don't think this motherfucker need no instrumentation. Mm -mm. It's a whole vibe by itself, man. Okay, then Los, I see you that vibe. Yeah. All right, um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's go with the uh, easy drummer, and I'm gonna have to do a little trickery with the uh, the hi hats. I still got to do some arrangements for it, taking some things out on the uh, on the drums and stuff like that. Um, uh, but for the most part, uh, I definitely I didn't knocked out about seventy five percent of what I needed to do. On this particular track right here. Um let's see here. That's a little bit too dry. Uh let's see, let's go to another. I like that. I like that. Let's try some more. Mm, open high head.
Uh, let's try one more. One more. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to play that like very, very softly, but uh let's let's knock it out. Let's, let's see what we can do. velocity was hard all right cool um i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy and paste that all right cool and what we're gonna do is just basically take uh take a utility tool and we're just gonna flip flop the left and right signal uh let's see let's hit the swap Yep. So, uh, utility two. Uh, if you don't know, um, you have stereo drop down arrow on the utility two. You have you can uh, basically have the audio coming out only left, stereo only right, or you can swap left and right. Um, and in this case, it, because it's a drum kit, and I did try to pan it at one time. It's not as strong when you just basically do a flip flop and uh, swap it right now. Yeah, that is it right there. Let's bring that back. I kind of want to put a guitar in here, but we ain't going to do that. But let's go ahead and mellow that intro out just a little bit. see what we can bring in here uh, definitely the hi-hat is out of there and the kick too it ain't a low speed if it got those syncopated up upbeat notes yo like that mm-hmm let's get this the that clap in here let's see here where that got dog on clap at let's uh edit that just a tad bit
And yeah, that's it, man. I don't think I need to add anything else besides do some other stuff that um, I just ran out of time for or whatnot, man. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to your lows, bro. I see why you wanted to, uh, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, motherfucker jam, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. Yeah. You put your whole naked ass in that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. Um, at this point, um, I'm not finished mixing it per se. Um, I still gotta add like reverbs to it and, um, reverb and delay to some of the sounds and uh do a couple of you know saying uh <clears throat> busting of the certain synth sounds in there and the drum well the drums are already mixed down and stuff like that just to uh cap it off a little bit but um what we can do is before i get up out of here just kind of add like a uh a top down mixing processor to this uh and because this has a 90s feel to it we're going to utilize um I'm going to utilize this uh this particular uh, if I can find it um this situation here I don't know if I want to be an asshole uh louder than come on bro here we go all right this is a, how can I explain this? This is a preamp with um with a little bit of EQ, but it does something real special to the sound. Um, it just kind of like I don't know, it just adds something to the sound. I don't know, but it's a it's a stereo preamp mixed bus processor, and you can get different type of flavors and tones to it because of the nature of the beat. It kind of has that nineties nostalgic type of sound to it i kind of want to make it i, I want to make it non-digital which means not make it sound clean but i don't want to make it sound dirty i want to kind of be in the between you know what i'm saying um and stuff like that so i'm gonna try this right here and i'm gonna use the combination of uh a series preamps which is api uh model type preamp neve type preamp or you could blend the two uh regardless if it's the A is in front of the N or the N is in front of the A or whatnot. Right. See what we can get out of here. Right there. 
and a little bit of mix bus compression and uh we should be done um should be done with this one So those two compress um uh, excuse me, those two processors that I added, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bypass those and see how that sound with it off right here on the hook. So it's on right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. And ready. Yeah, definitely make a difference. So those are off. Not too much of a volume change. Actually, our gain stage is right at on point. So just the simple dynamics in the preamp, what the preamp is doing, the, well, the virtual preamp is doing, um, is actually added some character, added some weight to the track, and um, really bringing out certain instruments as far as frequencies are concerned. So that's really, really good, man. So, yeah, man. Shout out to you, Los, man. You did your thing on this one right here, boy. Yes, sir. Um, and whatnot. I'll finish this off at a later point or whatnot. But the whole point of the streaming tonight was just to ready to test IG. I'll go back and hopefully it'll save my video. Matter of fact, let me check this motherfucker right now, man. Uh, yeah, we still we still streaming. So that's good. I had people on IG, so I apologize if you're watching on there. I wasn't paying attention because... It's, it's in two different windows and it's not on one window so um yeah but um hey man y'all get at my boy los the king man uh you can find him on instagram los underscore d underscore king you know what I'm saying he'll get you right man if you need him and stuff like that um or whatnot man this has been your boy super mario if you're on youtube go ahead and hit a like on this video uh once it's published and, uh, you know, saying subscribe to the channel if you'd like, man. You know what I'm saying? Show a little bit of support. And I appreciate you uh, for the even tuning in, man. Shout out to everybody that was on the um, YouTube uh, chat window and everything like that, man. Shout out to you, uh, Mr. Israel. You know what I'm saying? Miss Cynthia. Cynthia Cade. Oh, I didn't know she was in here. Okay. How you doing? Mama baby. All right. How you doing? Um, and stuff like that. And everybody else that's tuned in. Appreciate you for tuning in um, and whatnot. Uh, let's run that beat back um, And everything um, We're getting close We're getting close Getting close to my ultimate goal um, And stuff like that Excited And I'm prepping So, uh, But anyway man um, Everybody on Instagram and stuff like that Appreciate y'all I do not be on Instagram anymore It's not by way of I hate the, the platform uh, I still go on there It's just I don't post because everything is video related so the way i have my social media set up is i use the service where i put one post in it'll distribute it out to all my social media sites so if my interaction on there is delayed i apologize but if you want to catch me you know how to catch me man dm me i'll see it you know what i'm saying otherwise my interaction on the app itself is not there man i've been kind of venturing off in other apps that are really taking off and doing some very good things besides instagram i think it has hit a a threshold of not doing what it's supposed to be doing and keeping up with you know saying their competition or whatnot but anyway man um nice track we got it where we got it at man um a couple of other things man get it up to streaming level as far as on the volume and you know this is good to go grown folk mute you know what i'm saying take you back to 1994 95 96 yeah <laughs> even 97 you know what i'm saying when music really really was really really good at like this man so yeah this is really cool and whatnot man um yeah man we are um catch up with you guys later uh make sure you go ahead and um go ahead and follow me on all my social media sites um 
I'm I got an email newsletter that I'm I'm starting to do right now. Um, I'm trying to catch up with everything because it's like everything is happening real real quick right now. But next live stream, I should have my sign up letter um, and everything like that where you guys can go ahead and uh, if you want to be a part of the newsletter, I'm giving out free beats. Yes, I'm gonna start giving out free beats. No no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so if you want a free beat, you gotta you gotta sign up. So if you're on Instagram, you can click on my link that I have in there, link tree. Go to the second level and you will see where you want to network. It's a little card that says if you want to network, you know what I'm saying, contact me. Put your name and uh, email in there. I add you to the newsletter and everything like that. Getting away free sounds. If I come across free uh, effects, it's coming through that email. So I'm starting to funnel a lot of things through the email. Um, that way people can get access to things. I'm working on a couple of books right now and I'm working on an e-course. So I'm going to start doing courses. Um, a lot of knowledge that I share on YouTube, it, I know more. I just, I don't want to be long winded and bore you guys. If you want to learn more, I'm that dude. So I'm working on a course right now to uh, basically uh, help folks out there that really want to, you know, saying learn some things. There's a lot of analogies I can use to teach it, but you know, saying it's only so much you can do on a live stream. So working on a lot of that stuff right now. So um, yeah, man, um, you got to sign up though, man. If you want the knowledge, you got to do so, man. Don't be fooled by other people, because. Hey man, I'm just I'm just saying, man. <laughs> if you questioning yourself right now because you can't get stuff done and you've been researching and trying to find the right person for a very long time, y'all can go through the chat and scroll up or whatever, hit up record TV, hit up my boy record, X Los, the dude that produced this beat, man. Been rocking with him for more than 10 years, bro. I'm just saying, bro. And people that know me, people that even hate on me. They don't like me for whatever reason, but they know I'm that dude. If you need help, please feel free to email me. I do respond. And that's one thing is I ain't that type of dude that going to respond. You know what I'm saying? I try to help people. I help people in California. I help random ass people and stuff like that. So if you need help, ask. Like for real. Need help, ask, hit me up or whatnot. But the newsletter i'm going to start following a lot of things through there so if you're interested feel free to sign up and everything like that i will be giving out free resources and um you know saying doing other things through there as well man so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here man it's one o'clock and i need to go to bed and miss k gonna get me because i'm up late <laughs> that's an inside joke but uh you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what I do, man. I've been doing this for years. Staying up late, doing music stuff and whatnot. So, uh, like I said, it's, it's really a blessing to help others out there to understand and ask questions as well, man. So, um, y'all have a blessed one and stuff like that, man. If y'all don't live stream, you don't catch me, man. You have a good weekend. Keep your head on the swivel, man. Crazy world we live in right now. Uh, and stuff like that, man. And uh, You know what I'm saying? Stay creative right there, man. This has been your boy Super Mario, man. Signing out, man. Los. Can't say it again, man. Like this one, bro. I see what you was talking about. <laughs> we out of here, man. Peace. I ain't even realized I had the volume up at half. Los, you had the volume up at half. Boy, you turn that bad boy up. Oh, see, 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 God damn.